Hello everybody, and this is Edward of Child with the Adventures of Eddie the Builder. As you can possibly see, I don't know if I'm a bit quick, I've destroyed my sink. Now, it is destruction brought by conviction. I believe we will be able to fix whatever defect it is that's happening with the sink right here. So, as you can see, I can't uh, fill up anymore, and that's because I've got my rain collector barrel in my inventory. Unfortunately, the other one broke, but I tried to move both barrels after emptying them after a super long storm that finally subsided. So we're going to try and re-plumb the sink and see if we can fix the tainted water problem. As you can see, I was quite responsible. Like any good hero, I plonked the tiled window in the oven. Show me somebody who doesn't plonk a window into an oven and I'll show you a fraud. Okay, what am I looking for again? I believe I was looking for, come on, I'm pretty sure, yes, my pipe wrench, there we go. Sorry, I needed a bit of a jog there. Okay, now, it's probably not going to rain soon, but it's definitely going to rain, that's just a winter thing. Uh, let's quickly build this, whoops, 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 let's go find those uh, nails. I also fixed the gnome. It wasn't, you can't rotate it like an item, but the gnome you can rotate like furniture, so you just hold the mouse in and uh, drag in the direction you want it. So now the gnome at least facing us uh, for maximum fear, because that's the way they work. They want to get the fear in you. <coughs> okay, now we're going to do the pro barrel. Also a reason why I max out my carpentry, because this uh, rainwater collector barrel is awesome this version at least. Uh, okay, so let's unpack this one. And hopefully we won't have the tainted water problem again. Okay, I will not disassemble it. Pretty nice. Pretty nice that you can make and move a barrel. Uh, and thinking about it, the barrel is four planks, so the barrel is actually lighter than the planks it took to make it. Just... Uh, what is this now? I can't get that to... Hmm... Okay, let's see. Hopefully that works. Because last time I put the sink in... Last. Now technically the sink came before the barrel. So hopefully this time it works. I, I, otherwise we got a problem because then I have tainted water supply. Like permanently. I don't know why. Maybe I should just get a new sink then. Maybe there's something wrong with that sink. Okay put this in here. Now, last time we built a balcony. This time what I'm going to do is I'm going to build a composter here in the corner. Just the composter for now actually, for now with a little fence patch, just because I won't be able to finish the fence after the composter. But that'll just help us square away some of the rotten food. And then after that I'll come here and finish in this balcony. <coughs> If we finish the balcony, we're going to take it all the way to the edge of this roof. Then I'll go demolish the bottom level and square it out to make one big room. So cue the flippy flying music and let's get to it.
Okay everybody, so I've basically built this place out. I've learned a new thing, you can actually demolish roofs. So for the fireman base that actually helps a lot because you can open up space if you have enough nails and planks to actually change the roof to a flat roof. So yeah, now I've got some nice space here. Um, I actually had a zombie try and break the walls, so that's just one bad thing because I open up the walls now. Uh, I did drink some water from the lake, which never in the past has that been a problem, but for some reason it seems to be a problem now. My dude got a bit nauseous and gone too sick. That's the first time I've ever seen that. I don't know if they changed that or if I was just unbelievably lucky all this time, because in the past I never had this problem. I never got that bad. So, uh, I thought I had some water. Let's go check on those barrels, because I thought I got some water. Just before it snowed, it looked like it rained too. Yeah, it's got four. Why, why is it not... Why is this... It's got a little bit of water. I don't know why it's not... Uh... Ooh, let me actually fill up from this. This is something I did in the past. Fill it with the water bottle. Yeah. Wait a minute. Add water from there we go. Okay, so now they're both empty. Just go see if it basically purified it through the pipes. Because it should be connected up. So it's still not dragging any water. I have no idea why. I hope this doesn't break, but I'm gonna have to because for some reason this mechanism Oh, thank goodness. Okay, let's just see, because for some reason it, it's not connecting. And the room is closed off, so it should be connecting. I do not understand why my tap's not giving me water. This, yes, sick to nauseous. Okay, I'm surviving, I'm surviving. I, I was scared I was being zombified there for a minute. How is that not enough for him to... Huh, I do not understand what's happening, because... We are under the water barrel. We are under it. Let me just see something. Two, three, four. I don't know if I have enough nails. I do hope I do. Uh, let's see. Ba -ba -ba -ba. Yes, just enough. Thank goodness. I'm going to build one more barrel. Uh, it'll be diagonal from <coughs> the sink, so I think it'll work. Not 100% sure. But, yeah, I need to get a water supply going here. I don't know why <sighs> this is happening, because the room is sealed off. I, I know I've made that problem in the past, because I've always wanted an outdoor kitchen, which you need to effectively seal off the room for, for that to work. And I'm pretty sure I did, so I don't know what's happening. It needs to be an inside room. I don't know what I'm doing wrong here. Uh, let's just see if I build another one. Maybe that'll knock this thing out of its out of its its funk, out of its messed upness. Uh, okay, please, 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 please. I just want some purified water. Or well, I might have seriously messed up my water system. What on earth is happening? Okay, well, I'm in a solid water crisis. That's for sure. Uh, but that can wait for next episode. Let's see if we got some pop. That's why we, yep, drink some beer. Okay, while well, he's getting drunk, uh, this has been a pretty eye-opening experience. Uh, learned something with a sledgehammer, learned to bust down the roof. Saw me running around, uh, locating some extra nails uh, in a very inefficient way, but yeah. I'm going to need to raid a warehouse if I want a proper supply of nails. And uh, doing a bit of foraging. So, getting that foraging skill up there. Something that's also happened, because I've got the workshop mod, uh, I've started, because the mod I loaded the mod before coming here, so Rosewood doesn't really have much. But this place does. I started getting the magazines that actually cover the mod. So, backyard smelting for... For, the, <laughs> for funky people uh, and post apocalyptic nights, protect yourself, all sorts of funky stuff, which I'll be reading and using as soon as I feel it's uh, 
gonna be necessary or a oh teaches you how to make a propane gas furnace okay you know what let's read that right now because i was wondering how you learned to use the boink to make the basics er uh, okay it's not this it's probably a metalwork item and i've got absolutely no metalwork skills let's actually see remember metalworking assemble propane oh metalworking four yeah, I'll, it's going to take me a while to get to this point. But yeah, uh, as you could see, maybe in the next episode I'll do some, some uh, what's this? This is called a crate, yeah. Some crateception. Just stuff some of these crates into one another. Finish this floor. Uh, I'll actually check. Well, I'll remove this. Sometimes the wood underlays there. Yes! Oh, look at that. Oh, isn't that nice? We can basically just take off this brown tiles and we'll have a matching floor layout. Excellent. Or just rearrange it somehow to make it look nice and cool. So I'm going to make this a storage room. Uh, going to have a lot of crates here. Look at that. I've got wind chill here. No wind chill there. It's. I don't think there's really a solution to that. It's the same thing I had with my previous series with the mold draw mezzanine. It just had different light effects. But... Uh, at least we're getting somewhere and I think we'll be getting to more places soon, added some more space, gonna definitely expand on the farming enterprise because four potato plants will not do it for us and make a fishing rod probably, get some reading done. Very likely we will need to raid. Let me actually see if I have a raid map. Uh, come on, cartography, annotated. I think I might have put them all in there. Nope. Where's my maps? If I have a rivet map... Oh, there we go. Riverside. Whoopsie. Don't blame me. Okay, so there's Riverside. Um, if you go down this road... It's real funky. Isn't this a bit premature? That's that. That's the sewer. Isn't there another turn around here? Yeah, that's a bit early to stop the map. Either way, uh, further down to the west here, there's a logging, not a logging, a uh, factory. You go down with this road. And it's sure to have a lot of logs. I might do that. I might record it and see if it's if it's worthy. I'll upload it. But we'll definitely need to do a raid for nails because this is ridiculous. And maybe we'll get some useful tools and stuff. But until next time, I'll see you. This has been Edit of Tide with the adventures of Eddie, Build, Eddie the Builder. Eddie 3 to be specific. And he is so thirsty he's gonna die if I don't get him some water. But snow doesn't make water, so we're in a bit of a jam. But that's to be done in the next episode. So I hope you have an awesome day and hopefully an even better one after watching this. Bye-bye.